body bags were whole lies. Hello, welcome to Body Bags. My name is James and I'm your Sunday Night Reviewer. And for the end of the theme week, which was our Anchor Bay label, I've decided to bring you Q the Winged Serpent. So this is a uh, early 80s kind of B-movie from uh, Larry Cohen. And it features a um, stop motion creature, flying creature, uh, Q. I can never say the the correct name, well, the full name of what Q is. It's not on the back, so that's good. I can't even try and pronounce it. But it's basically a, um, how, how would I say this? It's an Aztec god, basically. Um, when we start the movie, we uh, have this um, window cleaner. He's <laughs> being really flirtatious with some uh, female worker that's, that's inside this building. And um, he loses his head. <laughs> We're not sure what it is, but it's our cue. Yeah, because it doesn't make itself apparent for, for, for a while. It takes a few killings to get going. Uh, like after this uh, decapitation, we, we follow this, um, this is priest and he's uh, basically doing this ritualistic killing of um, a person. And it's this like kind of, um, like I said, this kind of, it's uh, Aztec gods, it's like an Aztec priest. We find out that um, throughout the movie, until we get more information about it, that do you have people that are kind of will willing sacrifices that this is what this particular God needs? And hey presto, we get, um, it appears. Kind of doesn't really go too much into, into that sort of thing. It's kind of like on the side, you, you have this big flying lizard creature killing people. But then at the same time, you have this parallel of these uh, ritualistic deaths being being um, carried out. So it's quite interesting. I think there's later on, there's this uh, David Carradine. It's David Carradine. I always get them mixed up, which Carradine it is. Uh, yeah, David Carradine. Um, he's, uh, he's a policeman and he's talking to this museum curator and he's talking about like, like, gods and different things like that explaining about Aztec gods and that like many like South African gods that that they they worship like winged beasts and it's like maybe it's uh again how to it's man's arrogance maybe no, not arrogance not the word but it's the presumption that a god is a human human form and it's like you said like South Africa South American uh like the Aztecs that they, they were they were um, praying to beasts like this. So um, yeah, so so after these, like after this is all going on, we get our other. Well, I guess he is our main character, our main focus in, of our movie. Uh, Jimmy, played by Michael Moriarty, and he's just a kind of pathetic low life crook. He's got no backbone, no spine or anything, and he's actually doing this um, robbery. It's diamond robbery. And he's the getaway driver, but it all goes a bit wrong. But he manages to get the diamonds and escape. But then proceeds to be hit by a car, loses the, the satchel with all the diamonds. And of course, the others that are, did the robbery with him come looking for him. And they don't believe his story. And yeah, so he manages to escape. Uh, feeling sorry for herself, himself, he randomly climbs the Chrysler Tower and finds this massive egg with all these skeletons around it, all these different people. <laughs> it's kind of a bit random, all that lot. Yeah, and kind of throughout all this, we have this killer beast flying around. It's chewing up construction workers, basically anything, anyone who's like working on top of like these, these huge buildings. Uh, you got this like people sunbathing and stuff like that, you know, plucked out of swimming, back, swimming pools and, and things like that. Basically just causing real havoc. At one point like pouring blood, <laughs> like it's like raining from the sky and people are like, oh, what's going on? Uh, with the kind of, the whole kind of Larry Cohen kind of style, it's like 
guerrilla filming so a lot of this is just people in the street and they're just acting it's like film you know, like like all the background people are just people going to work and walking around <laughs> i don't think any permits were, were kind of like produced for for these sorts of things but um yeah so he actually decides to our jimmy decides to tell that these uh these um other low lives that like he did the heist with that the satchels he's hidden it in the Chrysler Tower obviously they go up and the big bird's there and it eats them and it's chow time uh, but then he realizes that he can get some money from this because no one in the city knows about this and he like obviously the police have an idea like David Carradine has an idea the rest of the police aren't really kind of believing him sort of thing but then he comes and he's like look I can help you with all this give me a million dollars I want immunity I want like image rights for the pictures taken all of this lot and like okay okay sign all this off and he go up there and lo and behold there really is something there it's just an egg and they're all shooting the egg and then they renege on the offer it's like well you said we'd get this flying beast and we didn't we just got this egg so we're not going to give you the money so they kind of like scream over a little bit but um yeah he comes to a head and they kind of go back and get to fight him that they, they uh they end up killing the priest that they, they track him down so he's been doing his ritualistic killings uh and then they, they have a shootout with a bird kind of like a feels a little bit like king kong kind of sort of thing but it's like gunned down at the end and um that's the end of our movie <laughs> um this is a great one this is like like up there with like the stuff for me from like larry cohen it's like i really really do enjoy this movie uh moriart is great caradine is great uh kind of everyone in this like all, all the proper actors in this even like some of the like the background acting like um some of the uh they, they have the small parts so so like all, all the people involved in this it's just an entertaining movie it's like you got michael moriarty's like uh his jimmy's like trying to go on the straight and narrow he goes to he goes into this bar he's like uh trying to go and get a job he's like piano, playing the music piano but he's like all this sketch ass sort of thing and like thinks he's doing really well on the bar tender just goes over and switches the jukebox on he got some like and then run of the mill like early 80s and 70s like rock music and it's just like nah not really enjoying your stuff so he's kind of like it's pretty cool he feels sorry for him he's just such a down and out character he's just like he's just kind of this pathetic guy but yeah it's a super entertaining movie um and i'm still rocking the old anchor bay dvd uh on a screen factory put a blue out probably like 10 years ago now but i just never upgraded and it's funny because like i said it's a it's a movie that i'll put on every so often it's just such an easy it's one of those comfort food movies for me this one it's just such an such an easy movie to watch but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll catch you next week thank you good night